Hey you beautiful big kids, it's your boy Zatch and welcome back to some more Alchemy Stars news. In today's video we're just going over well what to expect for this month of April, which isn't month I'm about to say month? Isn't month? Okay, okay, yeah, good job, me. Um, isn't much because I'm gonna consider this a cooldown month because yeah, it's gonna be the whole rerun event, uh actual event, dream event. That that's what we're kind of seeing now. It's more than likely because they want to see him to catch up, which is honestly reasonable. <laughs> but so yeah we got a rerun event coming it's gonna be goldie's event now it's touch and go whether or not you like the story event itself it was all right in my opinion it wasn't the greatest it wasn't the worst it was, it was all right and then some people just think goldie is mid but i mean why honestly why um she, she's like one of the strongest supports this game has ever seen in all actuality for like you know forest because she just literally well i don't know ties the entire fucking team together when <laughs> like it makes it so consistent and not funny but yeah going up we can look at all the characters we are getting we have brandy who is pretty much a journalist we have goldie who is an idol and we have vic who is mr well honestly he's professor oak uh, honestly like he pretty much is brandy is preemptive converter for uh green tiles from blue to green goldie is our maximum support for force and hand styles who can heal everybody in her idol mode, can do damage to everybody <laughs> with her war song mode, allows you to run through enemies, turns enhanced towers to chromatic towers. So yeah, and technically, very technically, if you get enough enhanced towers on the field, right? You can technically run a full, like any multicolor team because as long as you're on in uh, chromatic towers and not touching any other color, everybody attacks because technically you're on every color. So technically, technically, she enables that, <laughs> but you know, it's not really practical, but that's the thing she can do. And you have Vic who destroys single target enemies as long as they're by themselves because it's targeting some of the weirdest shit you ever see. But yeah, that is all the characters we will be getting. Now again, like I said, this is a cooldown period. So this free runner will be pretty much be all we are getting until next month because next month we will be getting a new resident. <laughs> and who redoes the wrench character with Zeta as well. So yeah, we already know what's coming in May, but this is what's happening in April. So, you know, kick your feet up and get ready to relax. Other than this, we do have Nice skin for Goldie coming. Now this is another gotcha skin similar to Oreos. So you can pretty much guess that more than likely they will be dropping Goldie's banner again, just so the people who don't have it can get her and then also get the skin as well, because it, let's be honest, it's a nice ass skin and I will be buying it. <laughs> uh, the wife will win again, let me tell you. But we will also be getting Vic's banner on the side because these two banners are separate because one is an exclusive banner, while the other is a standard kind of sort of event, time limited bullshit banner. And then, well, Brandy is free. So make sure you get Brandy because preemptive conversion is vital in this game. No matter how you want to look at it, no matter how mad you are about it, you got to get it. So, yeah, that's pretty much all there is when it comes to news for this game right now. Other than that, I'm chilling. <laughs> I mean, you know, a great time for me to save a moon member, baby. Because, hey, I got something in May for, um, you know, the new character and whatnot. So this is a good chance to save more <laughs> a little member for that. And then when Yanni comes around, baby, we we going hard because we got to get two copies of that anniversary character because they always need it. Because I think literally every, every fucking exclusive character has the same first fucking thing, which is preemptive strike, the first breakthrough. I think all of them have it, honestly. So yeah, that, that's what we're looking into. So hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe and all that good stuff for anything I can be started related. Or subscribe more gotcha content coming soon whenever the stuff I like come out. I am playing solo leveling, but that game is actually trash. I don't care what anybody says. And I'm going to play it until I hit endgame so I can talk proper shit about it. And that's me being completely honest. It's not that I hate solo leveling. I actually love it. It's just the game is a cash grab. So, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> see you on the next one. Love you guys. Bye-bye.